I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We've got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. Baby, let me love you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mum Life and More, and to another video and grocery haul. So, it's been a long day. Oh my goodness, it has been a long day, let me tell you that. Um, it is Easter Saturday, and wow, the shops were heaving. We went to Tesco and we popped into Marks and Spencer's for a couple of bits. It was manic, it was absolutely mad. Can't even tell you, it's crazy. Um, yeah, it was absolutely crazy. Three kids, it was manic, it was manic. Um, but I've got quite a good price, just under £110, I think. So I'll put the total on screen now. Um, you might have seen it in my video title anyway, how much it all cost me. Um, meal plan for this week. Got quite a nice one for this week. We're doing some, well, pretty much all simply cook meals. Um, so tonight we're doing the fish, oh, wait, it's always fish, a mukeka and rice. Oh no, I'm not doing, I'm not doing it with rice. I decided to do it with like the part baked rolls because me and the kids thought that'd be quite nice. Tomorrow we're at my mother-in-law's for a roast dinner, so that'd be lovely because um, it's Easter. Then Monday we've got people coming over to us, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do that day. Um, Tuesday I'm going to make a big bolognese because we've got someone coming round. Wednesday I'm doing penne alla rustica, which is another um, simply cook meal. Then I'm going to do beef stroganoff on Thursday with mash, that's a simply cooked meal. And then Friday, a lamb, quinoa, matta, and I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right, but we're going to do that. So um, yeah, that's our meal plan, running through to next Friday. It's currently the Easter holidays, so I've tried to kind of think about that when I've done my shopping. Um, but I have told the children that rather than like snacking on lunchbox bits, because I am going to be making them pack lunch every day because they're coming to work with me, 99% of the time over these holidays and I'll take them out after I finish work so there we go um I would rather them snack at home if they're hungry I've told me you have cereal toast you know something like that's going to fill you up not don't just grab all the lunchbox snacks because you can't be bothered to actually get something or ask me to make you something or a sandwich or something like that um so I'm going to turn you around oh let's get the frozen bits out because after I did the food shop I had to go put it all in the car and then I remembered I need to do passport photos for the children so we had to go and do that Zach and Charlie, super simple. The youngest, not so much. Because she tells her to have a straight face. And she's like, <laughs> like laughing. Like, yeah, she can't. She just kept laughing. And that took about six attempts to get it before it, like, passed all the biometric checks. Um, so, yeah, did that finally. Then I had to pop into Marks and Spencer's to get bread. And we got a couple of other bits. So I'm going to grab the frozen stuff out to show you. Because it's, it's, like, started to thaw. Um, so I need to get it back in the freezer. And I'll show you what I've got. But it's been a long old day. We've been at the park for three hours as well with a friend for seven, like morning and after over lunchtime, which was really lovely. And the weather's been amazing. It's been so, so good. I think that's it for frozen bits. Let me double check. Right, I'm gonna flip you around and show you everything. If you do like this video and you're new around here, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. It's totally free, but it helps my channel out massively. And I always really appreciate it when I get subscribers because it means you get to join my community. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because then you'll be up, oh, there you go, <laughs> tongue tied. Then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's flip you around. I'll show you what I've got. Frozen stuff, sweet corn. I don't remember how much this was. It was price matched at Aldi, about £1.39. I used to know all the prices for everything I bought because the prices were stable. Now they changed so much, I've got no idea what anything costs and I go to all different supermarkets, so I've got no idea. So it's just like my best guess on what I can remember. So I think this was £1.39. And then I got some of these Miss Molly's fruit flavour ice lollies just to pop in the freezer. I opened them up just to see how much they defrosted in the car. Not very much, so that's good. Um, I think... 
think they're about a pound or just over a pound or just under a pound, around a pound. And then I got these. These were on a club card deal for £1.75 and these are cheaper on a club card deal than the ones in Aldi, which I think are £1.99. I don't think the ingredients are quite as good because they've got some like added -y bits in. But um, let me double check. Let me double check actually. So this is what always gets me. Richmond is a brand and you normally pay like more than supermarket prices for them and their meat quality is never as good if you look on the ingredients um, and the meat qual quality of and percentage of meat in their sausages is exactly the same as the really cheap sausages that you get frozen in the supermarkets on their value brand which there's nothing wrong with that and I'm not judging anyone who buys them because I buy them and put them in sausage sandwiches for my kids in the morning when they have them um, but why would you pay more for a brand when it's got the same meat content in it as the value brand? But I got these because they were such a good price. And £1.75, and I don't normally buy them, but they have got the ingredients. They've got, like, diphosphates and flavourings, preservatives. They don't have those in the Aldi and the little ones because I've just checked the back of the packaging that I've got in the freezer. But anyway, I bought these because my kids like them. So I'm going to whack all this back in the freezer because I do not want it to go softy again. And then I'll show you the rest of the food. I will say that I've noticed about the ingredients in food is even if you're buying the lower value, like the lower brand that doesn't cost as much, like say, for example, Tesco value chicken nuggets, like the value range, um, even though the meat content might be like 46% of a chicken nugget, you've got to think about what the other the other percentage of that is. In the Tesco ones, for example, it's like 40% chicken. And then there's obviously the breadcrumbs. There's other bits in there but they have like bulk it out things like pea fiber and that's not actually bad for you so although you're buying the value range check the ingredients because they might actually be okay although they're not 100 percent chicken breast they might be what you can afford or what your kids like or your family wants or is available to you at that time but they might not necessarily be you know terrible for you on in terms of quality um and ingredients so just just give it a check and just be aware of what you're buying i'm by no means an expert and i don't buy everything without everything in it but i'm mindful because i'm aware it's all about balance because you can't it's very difficult to like go 100 percent in everything especially if you're like me and you've got three fussy children my two younger ones are really fussy um and it's really difficult but all we can do is like our best and if you don't care about ingredients and what's in things then that's fine too it's your life and you do whatever you want everyone's entitled to do what they want um but that's just something i'm mindful of i am mindful of ingredients and try and just do my best to do the best where i can basically and that's all anybody can ask of any of us so i have got some british lamb mints i think this was three pound 80 it's not a massive amount but there wasn't a bigger packet and i wasn't about to buy two and spend seven pound because a i don't even know if lily's going to eat this because she's never eating she doesn't eat loads of mints but it is a dry mint so she might eat more of it um when we do our lamb kima matar so we'll see um but yeah i don't know they're just if there was a bigger pack i'd have bought it but there wasn't so there we go um that was i think 380 definitely over three pounds and i've got some diced irish beef i can't remember that was four pound 19 actually because i'm going to do the stroganoff normally i do my stroganoff with mints however i thought lily might eat more meat if i do it diced so we'll see if not i'll go back to doing it with mints then i've got i've got this steak mints for um 15 percent fat it was 4.99 and i got that to do the bolognese and i'm just going to pop that in the fridge because it's been out of the um in the car and in the trolley for a while so then i've got four pints of whole milk I've just signed up to a milk delivery service that drew, uh, delivers milk on a friday and a tuesday to us from local farms um so i'm going to see how that goes see if it works out a lot more expensive or if it works out you know more expensive but more convenient so we'll see and i think i've also um asked them to add in some apple juice as well because they like to do fresh press juice so i was going to get the orange but it comes a bit so my kids will not drink that so i've got the apple juice as well so i'll let you know how that's working out for us um but we got like two liters of it yesterday and there's half of it gone already so i need to pick some more milk up um i got some wafer thin cooked chicken for sandwiches i don't remember how much that was but it wasn't expensive um charlie wanted to try these the cheesy singles they're brilliant for when you have burgers they're obviously really long life um because there's not an awful lot in there that's amazing for you but yeah it's not amazing 
But if they just want it on burgers or as a quick snack, then it's not the end of the world. I don't buy it very often. Um, that's for like 85p. And I got Zaki his uh, twisted cheese strings. They're £2.49 because he loves cheese strings. So there we go. Um, I got some Gouda. Oh, I don't know how it's, I can't remember how it's pronounced. I did find out how it was pronounced. Maybe like Huda or something. But anyway, we love Gouda. It's so, so yummy. £2.65, I think this was. And then I think it's like £2.55 for Sun Cream Pills Mild Cheddar. And then I think these were £1.75. I got these for everybody to try. Well, not everybody. Me and the husband have had them. Um, I'm hoping that Zach and Lily will try these. I'm hoping Lily might like a sandwich with it. Um, Creamfields from our spray for Lily, they're about 80p. And then this one I've broken. I dropped something on it as I was getting it all out. Um, Stockwell chocolate spread. This one's so nice. It's so chocolatey and lovely. Um, it's one pound something. I can't remember exactly what it is. It used to be 99p, but it's not anymore. Got some mango chutney for 99p. And then some tomato ketchup. I think that's 85p or something. Growers Harvest Passata. I've got two of those. I think they're 40p each. Um, and then I got, for our dinners, um, I got two plain naans for the boys and then two garlic and coriander naan breads. Lily doesn't like naan bread. She won't eat it. These were 99p each. And um, I've got, where have they gone? I bought some poppadoms as well to go with it with the dinner for that night because then Lily will have the poppadoms and she eats quite a lot of those but she does like them um so yeah and they were 99p as well so that's really good so I've got those and then I've got for tonight's dinner again Lily I showed them to her she just went she said no I don't like those so I said right okay well you can have bread and butter with yours while we all have um bread rolls so we've got these I'm gonna like I'm gonna cut some of mine off and give it to her in fact, I don't even think we'll need two packets, perhaps. I'm not sure. Yeah, we will. The boys will eat a whole one anyway. But I'm going to cut some of mine off for her so that she can try it. Um, because there's no reason for her not to like it. It's just because she's, I don't know, fussy and afraid of eating new things. But that's to go with our mukeka tonight. And then I've got, I think this was about 74p, two garlic breads, garlic baguettes, if you know, you know. Lots of garlic baguettes going in our house because of the middle one. Um... Maris Piper potatoes. I'm not a huge bag, but I prefer that actually. I think they're £1.35 or £1.59, I can't remember. Um, they're price matched to Aldi anyway. But a big bag will sit in my cupboard for ages. Um, whereas I prefer it because then it's not going to waste if I have a slightly smaller bag. Um, these have already been open. Charlie had one in the supermarket because uh, we'd been at the park and like the snacks and things I bought had all run out and they were hungry. He wanted one of these, the Neville's Pan of Chocolat. They were £1.19, I think. And I've got two packs of Scotch pancakes, which are like 49p, because everybody likes to snack on those. The brioche rolls, Charlie and Lily have opened already, so two are gone. They're £1.40. Um, I've got two packs of penne pasta, and I think they're about 40 p. And then two packs of the spaghetti, and I think they're 28p. Some growers harvest rice. I normally buy basmati, but it's a lot more expensive. This is 55p. I asked Lily what she thought of it, and she was like, I don't like rice. So I thought, well, you have to eat a few mouthfuls of it anyway when we have dinner, so it doesn't matter which one I buy. So I've got that one. Um, and then I've got one lime to go with one of our dinners, but I can't remember which one. Yeah, I can't remember. Maybe tonight, I'm not sure. Um, that, I think that's 24p, I'm not sure. Um, £1.50 club card price for red grapes, because me and Gareth like those. Zach will no longer eat them, and the other two don't like them. I've got a single cream for one of our dinners. And some sour cream. I can't remember how much these were, but I think they were under a pound. I'm going to pop them in the fridge now. Then I've also got a cucumber at 89p. These Rosine Farms apples. These ones look nice. These are called Red Prince and they look pretty nice. And then these are Golden Delicious and Charlie said he liked green apples. So I picked up some of these. They're 99p each. Um, got the Heinz by Nature fruit pots. £2 a pack. There's four in each pack. Lily likes those. Uh, the blackcurrant peelers. The boys like these. They were £2 on a club card price. And then the bear yo-yos were £2 each on club card prices, so it made more sense to buy two packs of these than the big family pack. And then £1.20 for a can of pineapple chunks, so I picked up two of them, because that's the only fruit that's at Polite now. I've got some Nightingale Cherry Tomatoes at 69p. These peppers, um, £1.69, and there's one green in there, but I'll use that in the dinner tonight. Gareth needed some more Lynx Gold. This smells so nice. It smells like chocolate, um, which is really nice, but bad in the morning because it just makes you want chocolate first thing in the morning. That was £5 for that big one. And then I've got an iceberg lettuce because 
Char oh, we, we like lettuce anyway. Charlie has done like a, he's been doing food at school recently and he's found out he likes ham and lettuce sandwiches. So he wanted me to buy lettuce to put lettuce in his sandwiches. Um, and I've still got some ham left in the fridge from last week. These were two, three pounds something. So I've got some chicken poppers and pork cocktail sausages for the children's lunches next week. Um, I think Zach might be the only one that likes these, possibly Charlie, but everyone likes those. Um, and then cereals, I got Tesco Crunchy Cookie for Charlie to try. The wheat toes were £4 for a box, so I found these ones, the Choco Hoops, they were 89p. So got those for Zaki because he likes those. Um, those are the only other cereal he'll eat, um, apart from the little pillows, and he loves those, but I didn't go to Lidl today. And then I picked up Lily's Choco Nut Pillows because that's the only cereal she will eat. So whenever I go, I get two boxes and they just sit in the cupboard for ages. Um, they were one pound something. Then I got discos because Charlie has decided. Well, he's found out he likes cheese and onion crisps, so that's good. And then Charlie and Lily both eat these ones. They were one pound thirty-five for these, and they've never had discos before. And then I got for one pound sixty-five on a club club price Walker's roast chicken because Zach loves these. These are his favourite, and Charlie will like these too. And Gareth will eat any and all of those. Um, then I popped into Marks and Spencer's while I was there. Um, and, and then I went to Marks and Spencer's and got three loaves of bread because I really like Marks and Spencer's bread. So two will go in the freezer and one will be one that we're using. Although we've got, yeah, we've got like an open one anyway. So they'll all go in the freezer. Um, I picked up this £1.65. The bread's only 75p. So it's really good bread and it's like got no rubbish stuff in it. I got this lemon and lime high juice because Gareth likes the roses lime cordial and it's like really expensive and we can't seem to find one that costs any less anywhere else. But I thought I'd try him on this to see if he liked it as an alternative, if I could pick it up because I don't always go somewhere where they sell the roses stuff and they didn't have any lime cordial in Tesco and they had no lime cordial in M&S either. So that's annoying. Um, and then I popped into Marks and Spencer's for... These are for Lily's Easter basket, the last thing I need for Easter basket, £1.75, so I got those for her. And then I also bought the kids two bags of Percy Pigs, and Lily, no, the boys got some chewing gum, and then Lily picked out a little bit of, thing of chocolate, because she can't have chewing gum at the moment. Um, so those are included in this, but they're not here. Um, I got two things of baby wipes, and they're like 65p. I need to now make up my going out bag, because when it gets to spring and summer, we go out a lot and like days out and things and I have a bag in the car that's got all the essentials in like medicines and spare clothes for the kids baby wipes all the essentials now that I haven't got to carry like a changing bag with me all the time I just keep a, a like essentials bag in the car um and then I got three packets of crisp not they're not crisps these are biscuits custard creams molly's ginger nuts they were 50 odd p bourbon creams um they'll just go in the treat tin i got this for 99p you know i think it was one pound nine actually growers harvest orange juice charlie picked this out um because it's zach's birthday soon and i think he picked this because a he likes ladybirds but also this looks a bit like the ladybird from ben and holly and he loved ben and holly when he was younger um so yeah he wanted to get this for zach's birthday so I was like, yeah, chuck it in the trolley then. So that's going to be his and Lily's card to Zaki. Normally, they just sign the card that me and Gareth get, but he wanted to get him his own card this year. Um, and then I had to get some paracetamol because Lily has had a headache. Um, so I had to give her some because I didn't have any in the car. So I bought that and gave her some in the shop. So obviously, I needed to buy it, and that was £2. And then I saw this soda and lime, soda water with lime, and I thought I'd try a 65p each. I bought two um to see what it's like because that's like mine and gareth's drink when we go out and things um if we're like going out for dinner or something if we're one of us is driving or i'll just usually have soda water and lime anyway because i really like it um so i've got that for us to try and two pound for some summer fruit squash and that's it that is everything and that came yeah just under 110 pound for everything including the like snacks and whatnot that, that are no longer here so i don't think i did too badly plus the frozen stuff bits that are already away but yeah there we go that's the haul i hope you've enjoyed it i hope that everybody has a lovely easter let me know in the comments what you're doing for easter um are you going anywhere are you away are you going on holiday are you just having a relaxing on at home the weather's set to be rubbish 
think Saturday was the only day we were meant to have nice weather and it's been glorious today. But tomorrow is meant to be raining when Monday is meant to be rubbish as well. We were going to have a barbecue, but um, we're going to have people over instead. And I'll be sending Gareth out to the shops on Monday morning to get some stuff when they come over in the afternoon. Because I couldn't face doing that today as well as like trying to remember everything I needed for the house. Um, and I've forgotten to buy loo roll. So I've sent Gareth a message saying, can you please get some loo roll? Because we've got none. Um, that was the one thing I forgot to get in the shops because children were being a little bit trying at times and it was just so busy it was manic there it was honestly so so busy anyway i hope that um you're all doing well i hope you enjoyed this haul and i'll see you in the next one take care bye it's what you're doing making me feel like i'm falling.